Welcome to No Cover Comics. Superman No. 299, May 1976. Story by Carrie Bates and Elliot McGinn. Art by Kurt Swan and Bob Oxner. The Double or Nothing Life of Superman. The Intergalactic Spaceways Company has scheduled the demolition of planet Earth and dispatched an agent to facilitate its destruction. Agent Zvire has determined Superman has the power to facilitate this, so he has moved in next door to Clark Kent for the final phase of the mission. Zvire has done something to Superman so that when he is dressed as Clark Kent, he loses his powers. Because of this, Superman has been experimenting with choosing one identity. First Clark Kent, where he gets closer to his friends. But he couldn't soar into action to stop disaster and pain, giving him too much guilt. He then tried being just Superman, but was never allowed to relax and be with friends. Zvire sets a trap in Clark's apartment and then trips the alarm. At his fortress, Superman hears the alarm and checks Clark's home. Nine of Superman's greatest foes are just hanging in his living room. By the time he arrives, they have all departed. Yet he receives a mental notification indicating that three are in Egypt, and confused, he heads to get them. At the pyramids, Superman faces Terra Man, the prankster, and the toy man. Momentarily restrained by a giant spring, Superman utilizes the nearby oil fields to extricate himself and swiftly secures the three villains using their own vehicle. The alien company has turned Superman into a living bomb that will detonate and destroy Earth once he expends enough power. Though Superman was given the next location of his foes, he presently has more important business as Clark Kent. Getting a change of clothes from work, Clark Kent appears in court to testify, then afterward realizes he still possesses his superpowers in his civilian attire. With little time to assess the situation, Superman travels to the Rocky Mountains, where he encounters Mr. McSilpitalik, who takes his head and hands. Additionally, he faces the challenge of Parasite draining his powers, along with Lex Luthor and his latest weapon. Tricking Luthor into shooting Parasite, they take each other out. Superman then uses a sonic boom to knock Mr. McSilpitalik unconscious. Upon returning to Clark's apartment, he finds that his wardrobe has been modified to inhibit his super abilities. However, he soon sets off again when he's given a mental picture of his next opponents. Meanwhile, Clark's neighbor is preparing for his escape ahead of the impending destruction of the Earth. Upon encountering Brainiac in the forest, the man-machine encircles Superman with his force field, preventing Superman from making contact, while simultaneously allowing Amalak's star cannon to penetrate the shield and inflict harm on Superman. Looking for a way out of their trap, Superman dives into Brainiac's ship where the clashing of energy causes an explosion. After transporting the villains to a galactic prison facility, Superman returns to Earth and gets a mental image of his final foe. It is at this moment that he observes the brain beam leading to the apartment adjacent to Clark Kent's. He realizes this man is behind the release of the villains and his power issues, and decides to look around before facing Kryptonite Man. At Metropolis Park, Superman confronts Kryptonite Man, and with this super punch, the world should be destroyed. But it isn't. Superman discovered the devices that had transformed him into an explosive threat. So he utilized his altered clothing to suppress his powers and knocking K-Man out with a non-super punch. Later, once the hazardous energy had dissipated, Superman visits the galactic prison where Zvire was posing as Amalak, informing him that his superiors are unlikely to consider releasing someone deemed a failure. Meanwhile, his superiors are concerned about the possibility of Superman discovering their location in the future. Ultimately, Superman decides to maintain his two identities. The mild-mannered pushover Clark Kent, who walks among us, and Superman, who soars through the skies. Thanks for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe.